Alright guys. Alright. The time has come to head out to the South by Southwest Music Festival for the first time since 2019. It is now a hot, sticky, miserable midsummer day here on Saturday, March 11th, 2023. And they say four years ago that I was at the South by Southwest Music Festival. You know, I, I was here in March of 2020 to uh, go to my, what I figured might be my last South by ever. And we all know what happened in March of 2020 when, uh, when Austin, Texas announced that they had canceled South by Southwest Music Festival because of Corona panic. I knew how fucked we were. And that was it. And here I am, three years after that. You know, I've been waiting for this big ass party all winter you know I structured my whole trip to that lovely trip to Mexico and all that so you know it orchestrated the whole thing built around coming to the South by Southwest Music Festival and now that I'm here and it's going on uh, you know it's just like who gives a fuck? You know, I'm an hour and 15 minute drive. Easter egg, so it's so two and a half hour round trip. I was going to be staying in Austin, but uh, I've run into a little snag. Uh, so I'm down here in Canyon Lake. So it's a two and a half hour drive. And then you get up there and you try to uh, go find a parking place and then you finally find a fucking parking place and then you get to the goddamn place and you try to find somewhere to get you know a place to sit down I mean good fucking god what in the hell am I doing this shit for you know my friend down here uh, five minutes before we were heading out the door. What is it? 88 degrees here. 88 degrees. And uh, she said, well, how long are you planning to be in Austin for? You know, she's not in really good physical shape. And I said, I'm planning to be there about five hours. She said five hours, you know, not not counting the two and a half hours. So all, all intents and purposes, eight hours uh, to go in there and and hear. You know, I mean, I mean, it'll be some okay music, but it's not like you know I'm going to hear fucking. You know, it's not like I'm going to hear Neil Young or Willie Nelson. You know what I'm saying? It's just some local. Uh, bands that I've heard before. I, I mean, they're fine, but uh, so you know, eight hour investment of my time. Uh, how much fucking gas money a am I putting into this? Uh, a, a cider is eight dollars at this place, a fucking margarita is probably twelve fucking dollars. Uh, 88 fucking degrees. I don't know if there's any fucking sun there. You know, I'm a 63 year old man for God's sake. Just the, you know, she said, go enjoy yourself, is what she told me. She went back and flopped on the goddamn bed in front of the fan. This is what I should be doing. Uh, here I go, back to. A shithole of Austin, Texas for the biggest party on the planet that I have been uh, looking forward to for four fucking years and now uh, it's, <laughs> it's like what the fuck am I doing?
What do you think, little dog? This is a dog friendly venue, they said. Little dogs welcome. So the little dog is heading to the biggest party on the planet. Oh, God. You know, I went, so there's like, you know, in the, in the, Big, in, in the main South by Southwest, you, you buy this fucking wristband. That thing is probably 600 fucking dollars this year. And it gets you into all of these clubs, I guess. Well, obviously, I'm not buying the wristband. So what I did was I spent four hours going through the, uh, the, <clears throat> the listings there's going to be like 1,500 bands all over the fucking planet. Like 1,500 bands in Austin, Texas this week. Uh, good fucking God. And uh, four hours. I, I started at A and went through Z to, uh, you know, to study the bands coming. Out of 1,500 bands, how many bands do you think uh, I put a little star by that I might want to go check out? <clears throat> if your answer was eight, there are eight bands that I give a flying fuck about seeing, but the, but the way that works is so the people obviously who bought the wristbands get first dips. So... If the club fills up with wristband people, then nobody else uh, is allowed in for the gig, and then you got to pay probably a $20 cover. And then the thing about uh, South by is the actual act, you know, the, the actual music that you're going to hear is 40 minutes. These people, these bands, they travel you know, from fucking Iceland to uh, get to Austin, Texas for a 40-minute gig. So even if you can get into the goddamn club, uh, you'll get in there. Obviously, it'll be, you know, you're, you're not going to have a seat for your 20 bucks, and, and then you're going to get 40 minutes of music. Uh. <laughs> oh, and it goes uh, without saying... Uh, that uh, the free parties now this is a free event that obviously your old cheapskate only goes to the free shows well it's 2023 how many fucking free shows do you think are allowed uh, allowed uh, are, are you gonna find in Austin Texas it used to be south of the river there were like 40 uh, at least for the hell, there were probably closer to a hundred, uh, free shows. Good luck uh, on, on trying to, uh, find any, you know, when I say free music, I mean, obviously they pass around, uh, they pass around the tip jar and so figure five bucks and, you know, in the damn tip jar and, a couple of drinks and a, a fucking chicken sandwich. Uh, anyway, just one more thing. You know, it's just it's just one more fucking. You know, good fucking god, just just one more thing to depress you. Uh, the young beautiful people. The. Uh, Volva smoothie slurper crowd uh, has just pushed us old farts out of the way. It's uh, let the goddamn youngsters have the goddamn place. Uh, anywho, it's just just the just the whole fucking thing is depressing. Does everything about it's depressing? Uh, Oh, well, I have no clue why I'm doing this, but for whatever reason, I'm doing it. Go put some more gas in my gas-sucking truck for this two-and-a-half-hour round trip so I can go buy 
two drinks for over 20 bucks and get in a crowd of a bunch of fucking people on a 90 degree day to hear uh, four bands that I've heard before. Oh, fuck. We're so fucked. We're just so fucked. Why do you think, little dog? Are we just so fucked or what? Alright, get out there and party like it's 1999 while you still can. I guess I should start calling my clueless, lovable friends and start herding turtles. That's what I used to call uh, trying to actually motivate my clueless, lovable friends. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I, I can't bring you any videos from the thing because of these goddamn copyright violations. So obviously there's not going to be any videos of the music that I'm going to hear. <sighs> One more thing to add to this bullshit are these fucking copyright violations. Uh, look at this shit. Bye, guys.